t- take me through the whole process of you and Paul Pierce getting hooked up. He, he sort of mentioned that Sam Cassell had come to your workout. Like, how did that all go down? Yeah, so uh, I go to L.A. every summer, train with Drew, um, and Sam Cassell is my new position coach. So Sam came out there for a few days, and uh, he just brought Paul to the gym one day, and they came like three, four days in a row. Sam went back to Boston, and Paul just was like, you know, when are you working out again? So Paul would come to the weight room, and he would work out with me and Nick, um, and then he would get in the car and follow us to the gym, and he would just watch me work out. And uh, that was for like three, three, four weeks. Um, I saw Paul every single day, and it was, it was cool to have him around. Uh, it was cool to, you know, work out with him, you know. Uh, Paul was motivated, right? I think he lost like 15 to 20 pounds. Um, you could tell he kind of felt younger being around myself and feel my friends and um, it was kind of like he was just one of the guys and you know it was an honor to have him around and listen to him talk and tell stories uh, so you know I was it was cool for me to spend that much time with him uh, you know Celtics legend NBA legend and a guy that I you know have a lot of respect for what what's the, what is the biggest thing you pull from that like what is what can he he talked about like one just be a part of your journey like what can he impart upon you as someone who has been through this and won the title and done all that uh just you know his experiences especially in that OA season you know the ups and downs the things that they did as a unit as a group you know how they empowered everybody because you know at some point throughout the season um, you know, you're going to need each and every person to help win a game. Um, so, you know, just it was just cool to hear him talk about, especially the 08 team and, you know, how much fun that was and, you know, the battles and the arguments and the good times that they had. Um, so just hearing those stories uh, was, was cool. What's it been, what's it been like? Did, your, your, did the offseason essentially bookended by emotional but, like, moves that probably improved the overall talent of your team? I guess start with Drew, like, the most recent – what do you what what goes through your mind when you hear that you're adding a player of that caliber? Uh, I mean, you're excited, right? I, Drew is one of the most respected guys in the league. Somebody that you know I was on the USA team with, won a gold medal, so I know him pretty well. Uh, so you know, extremely excited and happy to have him. Uh, you know, obviously, you know, one of the best two way guys that you know the league has seen. Uh, but it's also tough, you know, losing Malcolm, somebody that. Helped us a lot last year and that, you know, you grew to have a relationship with and especially Rob. You know, I spent five years with Rob and he was a big part of the success that we had, you know, since I've been here. Somebody that I grew to be really close with. Uh, so that, you know, that's the tough part about, you know, these trades that, you know, sometimes your friends uh, that you spend a lot of time with, you know, shipped off to another team. What did you learn about Drew from the Team USA experience from just going up against Milwaukee all those years? Like, what, what, what can he add to this? Uh, he's, you know, elite competitor, uh, big, big guard, obviously a great defender, uh, and, you know, puts pressure on the defense, right? You know, he's an elite shooter. He can post up. He pushes it in transition. Selfless guy. You know, it's all about winning uh, and just somebody that you would love to have on your team. How much can that... We talked about it with Pierce, but like now with Drew, like he's been there, he's won. But like the one, you guys, for all you, you've, you've accomplished, the one thing that's missing has been sort of getting to that finish line. How much can he help you? Not only help you get there, but be like a someone that can help guide that path. I mean, absolutely. He's 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 did it recently. Um, he knows what it takes. He's been on a championship team. He's they face adversity. They was down 0-2, and they still figured out a way to win. Um, so it's a lot that and I'm certain that I can and will learn. Um, from Drew and his experiences um, on that championship team. What take me through Chris Stapps? Like obviously losing Smart, same deal. Like range of emotions. Like, but what what can Chris Stapps add to this process as well? I mean, you know, he's extremely tall. Uh, it just adds another layer of versatility. You know. Stretch the floor, right? He can really, really shoot the ball. Uh, now we really have a low post presence that you know we haven't had to that magnitude really since I've been here. Uh, and obviously, you know, elite shot blocker, you know, can protect the rim. Uh, so, you know, we have a lot of length um, on the floor now. How's the wrist feeling? Feel fine. Body feels great. Uh, you know, going into training camp, feeling feeling healthy and uh, feeling ready. So did you give any consideration to, to surgery? I know you, you said in the past it's not like it's not ideal, but do you feel comfortable about where you're at? Yeah, thought about it. Uh, you know, 
just wasn't a common surgery to get, so it wasn't certain how it may maybe affect me long term. Uh, so, you know, got a second and third and fourth opinions, um, but, you know, took the right measures and things like that this off season, so uh, feel fun. Did you, were you the one who sent out the photo of Joe in the photo booth at Marcus Smart's wedding? Yeah, that was. That Did was you me. ask for his approval before sending the photo? Uh, no, nah, I maybe <laughs> should have, but uh, no, nah, I didn't. We had fun. We had, we had a good time. I, what don't we see about Joe from what, the way you know him to, he, he, looked, he, was, he was joking at caught between, like he was doing a hard pose and then he was supposed to, you know, something lighthearted, but like... We, I, even just today, we've seen him open up a little bit more than we have. Like, what's it like behind the scenes with Joe? I mean, Joe, he's a funny guy. He has a great sense of humor. Um, you know, he's always laughing, always joking. Uh, you know, he's a fun person to be around. Uh, yeah, he's a normal guy. You've had expectations pretty much every season since you've been in the league, but, like, does it feel any different this year? Is there an, any extra half because you've been so close so many times to get over that edge I mean yeah you know people expect us to win people expect us to get to the championship and you know when we don't it's you know we didn't meet the expectations uh, you know we're a really good team we got really good players um, and that's how it should be